Amen. What a joy it is to be with you here today on What the World Needs is Jesus broadcast. Boy, I'm excited to be here today. Man, it's getting close to Christmas time, and you know what Christmas is? That's the day we celebrate Jesus' birthday. Amen. That's the day we put aside to celebrate. That's I, we, we don't know that that's Jesus' birthday, but that is the day that we set aside to celebrate his birthday. Amen. Boy, what a great day that's going to be. Amen. That's going to be a great day because a king was born that day. A king was born that day. A savior was born that day. Somebody that can save us from this old lost world was born that day. Amen. A brand new life was born into this world. Amen. That wasn't, listen, listen, that was God's sin. Amen. That, that was God's sin. That was Jesus being born of a virgin woman. Amen. And we all know how that is, amen. You can't, listen, you can't have a baby unless you have a maid, amen. Because you got to have somebody to be with you there to have the baby, amen. But listen, Jesus was born of a virgin, amen. Jesus was born of a virgin and it became, it became the savior of this world. It, Jesus became the savior of this world. That's why he came here, amen. He came here that me and you might have life and have it more abundantly, amen, and he was born that day, glory to God, they didn't know what they was, that they was being around, they didn't know what was surrounding them that day whenever Jesus was born, boy, I tell you what, a king was born, glory to God, a king of kings and a lord of lords was born that day, and listen, he, he, he grew up for 33 years, amen, he lived on this earth, Three and a half years, he had a ministry, glory to God. He had a ministry just like we've got right here. He went and preached and taught and, and went to all the synagogues and told everybody about uh, heaven and about uh, God and about how things was and how you get there, amen. Glory be to God. Listen, I'm here today to tell you how to get to him today, amen. We have to get through Jesus. We have to go through Jesus today to get to God Almighty. Amen. And there's not, there's not 500 different ways. There's not 400 different ways. You don't have to stand on one foot and hop and hold up one hand and touch your nose with the other hand. There's one way today to get to heaven, glory to God, and that's through Jesus Christ. Amen. That's through the one that was born that I was just talking about that was born, Lord, glory be to God. Glory be to God. I'm so glad that Jesus was born, amen, and he grew up, glory to God, on this earth. He walked on this earth in a body just like me and you are in today, amen. He come right out of heaven. Woo, boy, isn't that something? He come out of somewhere where we're all trying to get to, glory to God. He come right out of heaven, right down here, and put on one of these old bodies and listen. Listen, it takes, it takes somebody that's really willing to do something for somebody else to do that, amen, because that's where we all strive to get to today. That's where we all want to get to today. We want to get to heaven up there, up there on the right hand of, of God Almighty himself. That's where Jesus is at. He's right there at the right hand of the throne of God, amen. Well, glory, all God's got to do is say, son, Go get my children, amen, and guess what? He's coming after me and you, glory to God, if you're saved, if you know Jesus, if you've got Jesus in your heart, if you're a born-again child of the living king, when God says, son, go get our children, guess what? You're going to go to heaven, amen? You're going to go be with Jesus, amen? Uh, 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 we're we're going to be with Jesus. Jesus is going to, listen, he's going to call them out of the graves, glory to God. They're going to, the graves is going to bust open, glory to God, and, and people's going to come up out of the grave, amen? They're going to come up out of the grave, and then, and then we which are alive and remain, we're going to go with them. We're going to all be called up to heaven to be with Jesus, amen? Isn't that something to think about? Isn't that something to think about today? If you're lost, glory to God, you don't have to be. If you lost, if you're lost, it's your choice today. You don't have to be lost. All you have to do is ask Jesus in your heart. All you have to do is believe in Jesus today. Is get 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 this Bible down, glory to God. Get the Bible down and start reading it and start asking God some questions and asking him uh, 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 what does all this mean? Help you to understand it. And you know what God will do? He'll help you understand whatever you're reading. He'll help you figure it out. He'll help you understand. And you know what he'll do? He'll give you the desire if you want it. If you want it, he'll give you the desire to study that Bible out and, 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 and seek out the stories and seek out Jesus and 
Did you know Jesus is in the Bible all the way through the Old Testament, all the way through the New Testament? Amen. You got to get in there and hunt him, though. You got to get in there and seek him out, glory to God. He's in there. I guarantee you, I read about him all the time. Amen. He's a wonderful, wonderful person. Amen. Who else do you know that would die on a cross for you and not even have not even seen you? Amen. Listen, Jesus did. Jesus died on a cross for us that we could live life. And, and listen, he, 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 he died. He came down here so that we could live life and live it more abundantly. Through him today is the way we live life and live it more abundantly. It's through Jesus Christ. It's nothing we do. It's not, it's not our righteousness. Our righteousness is filthy rags. Amen. But through Jesus... Through Jesus, we can live a great, wonderful life. Amen. And you know what's funny about that? You know what's funny about that? The world thinks that you have to have money to live a wonderful life. The world thinks that you have to have all these new cars and all this big fine house and all the all the big up up thing, all the big screen TVs. You have to have the sea dews out in the yard, the boats, all the th pleasures of this world. You have to have all that to be happy. That's the way the world believes. That's what the world thinks. But you know what? You know what? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going with the world today. I, I don't, th this place is not my home, amen? I'm just a passing through here, glory to God. I don't need all that stuff. I don't need all that stuff to keep me happy, amen? You know what? I can be just as happy as with, with what I've got and where I'm at. As, as the guy, as the rich man can with all the house, all the cars, all the things that's in his life, all those things that he's conjugated up to try to fill that void in his heart. Listen, I got my, my, my hole in my heart filled up a long time ago, amen? And I filled it up with Jesus today because you know what? Whenever you get filled up with Jesus today, you don't worry about all that stuff. You become happy with what you've got, amen? You become happy, and you know what else you'll want to do? You'll, 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 you'll want to get everybody else saved to be with you, amen? You'll want them to understand and to love like you do, amen? When you get the love of Jesus right down in your heart, listen, you get the love of Jesus in your heart, and you watch your attitude start to change. Things will start to change about you, amen? You'll start thinking a different way, amen? God will change that. Listen, listen, God will turn that old darkness off and he'll flip that light on for you if you'll let him. If you'll let him, he'll turn the light on for you and you'll see, glory to God. You'll see what's going on and you'll see the things that's happening in this earth. You know what? You'll see how love really is. You'll see the real meaning of love, amen? I know people, people men, men's always, they don't even want to say the word love because they think it makes them look bad or look like a sissy or something like that. That's the worldly men, amen. But you get a good godly man, you get a good godly man that loves Jesus, you know what? He wants to say love. He wants to say, listen, if you'll get the love of Jesus down in your heart, your life will change. Your life will change, amen. That's not a maybe it'll change. It might change, or if you do this, it'll change. I'm telling you, if you've got the love of Jesus in your heart, your life will change. Your thinking will change. You won't think the same anymore, amen. You'll think, you'll think with love, amen. You'll want to do everything with love instead of with old hatred and old, old mean thoughts and old ugly things. You'll want to do things with love, amen. Glory be to God. Thank God that we had a Savior, amen, that was born down here on this earth to save us from an old wretched place called hell, amen. And you know what? If you don't know Jesus, you're on your way there. If you don't know Jesus today, you're on your way there, amen. You're on your way to that awful place. But you don't have to go there today. You don't have to go there today. All you have to do is call on the name of Jesus. Amen. That's what he wants us to do today. He wants us to call upon the name of Jesus. Amen. And you know what? He's sitting there waiting on you. He's waiting on you today. Amen. He's waiting on you to call on him. Glory to God. He wants you to be saved. He wants, he wants everybody to be saved. Amen. He's waiting on you. He's waiting on you to give him that call if you don't know Jesus today. Glory be to you. know what? If you go on and get saved, if you go on and ask Jesus in your heart, I guarantee you, you'll you, you appreciate this broadcast a whole lot more. You'll have that love down in your heart. You'll want to hear the word of God. Amen. You'll want to hear everything that's being said. 
because you'll have the love in your heart. Amen. Going to get saved right now. Amen. Don't even wait another minute. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. You know, you could have a heart attack that fast. That fast people has a heart attack and dies. I'm, I'm talking about people. We knew a man that was in good health. Nothing wrong with him. Matter of fact, he was at the gym working out. He was a young man, young man. He was at the gym working out. And he come back in the locker room, got a shower and got changed over and had a massive heart attack right there in the locker room. Right, I, I mean, he he a good, healthy man. I mean, nothing, nothing wrong with him. Massive heart attack. He was gone just like that, just that fast. He had a massive heart attack and died. Amen. Listen, we are, are not promised tomorrow. We are not promised next week. We're not promised our next breath today. Friend, I want to tell you something right now here today. We are not promised our next 30 minutes, glory to God. If you don't know Jesus, it's, it's my heart's desire right now that you find out who he is and you get a hold of Jesus and listen, all you have to do is call on him, amen? Boy, it's so simple. It's so simple. I just want to say, look, just call on him. That's all we have to do, amen? Isn't that something? What a gracious, mighty God we serve today, amen? Glory be to God, amen? If you got your Bibles, and I know you do, amen? We're going to be in Genesis today. That's the very first book of the Bible, amen? Very first book of the Bible, chapter 3, amen? Genesis chapter 3, 1 through 5. And the Bible says, Now the serpent was more subtile than any beast of the field, which the Lord had which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Ye hath God, yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of you shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, you shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For God doeth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Boy, I tell you what, he was right. He was right. Their eyes will be opened, amen. Their eyes will be opened, amen. But you know what the old serpent is? The, the, the first verse there just gets, gets, gives you a good idea. About it. it says, now the serpent was more subtile, which means the serpent's more crafty, which means the serpent's more uh, uh, subtile and crafty, and he wants, to, he wants to slide in there. He wants to slither in there and get a hold of you, amen, and get, get you to believe things that's not. He'll tell you just enough of the truth, amen. He'll tell you just enough of the truth to get you to believe a lie, amen. He'll tell you just enough of what you want to hear. He'll tell you just enough of what he thinks you need to hear to get you to go the wrong way, amen. How many of us knows the devil talks to us today? How many of us knows he'll sit right there on your shoulder? He'll whisper in your ear, amen. He'll sit right there and talk to you just like, just like somebody over here sitting, on the, uh, sitting out here in the audience, just like anybody around you. He'll sit there and talk to you right in your ear, amen. And if you let him, he'll talk you into doing things you ought not do. Amen. Glory be to God. You Listen, but if you've got the Holy Ghost of God in your heart, if you've got Jesus in your heart, the Holy Ghost is ruling in you. Amen. Reigning and ruling right there in your body. Listen, he'll, listen that Holy Ghost will take over. Amen. That Holy Ghost will take over and say, look, you don't need to do that. You need to stop whatever you're doing right there. And if you'll listen to him, amen, he'll keep you out of trouble. He'll keep you out of that old backslidden condition. He'll keep you out away from the devil. He'll keep you out away from problems and troubles and trials because that devil keeps trying to talk to you and tell you this and tell you that and get you in there, amen. He just wants to slide you right in there, amen, and get you into something you ain't supposed to be, amen. And then you're in it. Then you're in it, glory to God. But listen. If you listen to the Holy Ghost, amen, he'll slide you right back out of that, amen. If you listen to the Holy Ghost, he'll pull you right back out of that. He'll say, look here, you're doing this wrong. And if you listen to him, you'll get back out of that, amen. 
The old devil is subtile. Amen. He's crafty. He's crafty. He wants you to, he wants you to uh, 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 do what he wants you to do. Amen. He wants you to do the things that he wants you to do. He told, he told Eve here, he said, And he said unto the woman, Yea, ye have, ye hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree in the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. Boy, that's pretty, that's, that's, listen, to me, that's pretty clear instructions. Hey Amen. You just think about how clear that was. Hey Amen. You can eat of the trees all over the garden, but that one in the midst of the garden, you shall not eat of it. You shouldn't even touch it, glory to God, unless you're going to die. See, God told him very clear, very plain instructions. You know what? Sometimes we got pretty plain instructions out here in this world. Amen. God says, stay away from this. He says, stay away from witchcraft. He says, stay away from uh, this and that and the other. Amen. Listen, and what do we do? We try to, we try to ease over. Well, it won't hurt just to go down here and get my palm red. Amen. Come on now. It won't hurt just to go down there and get my pomp, get my future told, amen. You know what God says about that? God says that's an abomination unto him, amen. If you don't believe me, read over there in Deuteronomy chapter 18. It'll take you right to it, amen. It's an abomination. Witchcraft is an abomination, amen. All that stuff, all them where they read your palm and all that where they tell your future. That's an abomination unto God. God said you're messing with the spirits out there. Amen. You're messing with those things that you ought not be messing with. Amen. In other words, stay away from that. Pretty clear instructions, is it not? You know, we all want to jump on Eve and Adam here. We all want to jump on them because they eat of the fruit of the tree. But you know what we do? Same thing. God says stay away from that stuff. And we venture right off over there in it. We get off over there in it. But you know what? You know what? We have to pay for what we do on this earth. But we can be forgiven of it, amen. We can get forgiveness of whatever we do. Whatever you're doing in your life today, you can for get forgiveness for it. And you know what God will tell you? He'll say, repent of that. Repent of that. And you know what repent means? It means turn from that. It, it means turn away from that and don't do it no more, amen. Because if you just ask for, rep if you just ask for forgiveness and you just turn around and go right back out there and do it again, and then you come back and ask for forgiveness, and then you turn around and go do it again. Listen, you're not, you're not repenting of that thing, amen? You're not getting that thing under the blood because you're going right back out there and doing it again, amen? We got to repent of that and turn away from it, glory to God. Get away from that stuff. The old devil had Eve down here. He, he, he's wanting her to eat that. He's wanting her to eat of that tree, amen? Pretty clear instructions God gave her. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. Boy, ain't that something? That, that just about gets under your skin. There. He calls God a liar right off the bat there. He just called God a liar. He said, Ye shall not surely die. Even though God said you're going to die if you eat of that tree, he tells her, he said, Ye shall not surely die. That should have been her first red flag. That should have been what woke her up. That should have been a knock on you, a uh, uh, conscious say, Uh-oh. Uh-oh, the devil's telling me a lie because God just told me I would die. Amen. So listen, when we get out in the world and we get to doing things, it's what I was just explaining to you a while ago. When we get to doing things out in the world, that devil jumps up here and starts talking to you. Amen. Listen, if God's over here and he said, don't do that, the Holy Ghost is telling you, don't do that. We got to listen to the Holy Ghost, amen. If Eve had to listen to the Holy Ghost here, if Eve had to listen to God, what God told her, we would have been, things would have been totally different, amen. Things would have been totally different. If you'll listen to the Holy Ghost when the devil's telling you to do something you ought not do, if you'll listen to the Holy Ghost, your life will be different, amen. Your life will change. Your life will be different. But if you just keep going on with that devil and just keep following along with him, you know what? Things is going to get bad, amen? Things will get worse and worse. He said, Ye shall not surely die, for God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, when your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good. And he's right. 
He's right. You're gonna know as you're gonna know good good from evil. Then, Amen. Whenever she eat of the tree, it made her know good from evil. Glory to God, because she only knew good. Amen. Until she eat of that tree, and when the woman saw the tree was good for food, and and that it was pleasant, you know what the devil does? He makes he makes things out in this world. He make, he makes eye candy out of it. You know what I'm talking about? Eye candy. Where you look at something and it, boy, and it just looks so good. Amen. It looks so good. You know what they do with the beer commercials? They put the beer commercials out there and they advertise all this beer, but they don't show you the background. They don't show you back there where the guy got drunk at the party with this beer they're advertising. And he went down the road and had a wreck and killed somebody, killed some innocent person. Amen. They don't show you that part of it. They don't show you the part where somebody gets hooked on drugs and, and they steal from their family and they, they run their whole family trying to steal from them so they can get money to get drugs. Nobody in your family likes you anymore because you're a thief and you're, you, you steal from them and, and you take everything you can get because you're hooked on drugs. They don't show you that part. Hey, man, you don't see that part. You know, the man that, uh, the, the, the man that cheats on his wife Listen, they, they, it's, it's all pleasure for a while there. There's pleasure in sin for a season. But then, but then you don't see the part where his family's tore apart. You don't see the part where his family, his kids are, are heart ripped. You just rip their hearts out because their mom and daddy separates. You know what? You know what? You, even if you can't get along with your spouse, your kids still love the other one. Hey, man, if you don't like your spouse, if you don't love your spouse no more, guess what? Your kid still loves them. Hey, man, just because you don't love them don't mean your kids don't love them. Hey, man, glory be to God. Why don't we think about our kids every once in a while instead of what we want? Hey, man, think about our kids sometimes instead of, instead of thinking about the pleasures of sin, letting the pleasures of sin override us. Hey, man, that's where the Holy Ghost comes in. That's where the Holy Ghost is sitting here saying, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't run off with that other woman. Hey, man, look what it's going to cause. Just for you to have a little pleasure in sin for a little while, look what that's going to cause for your kids. A lifetime of torment. A lifetime of having their mom and dad separated. You know what? It's, it's normal today. It's normal today. People don't even think nothing about it today, but you know what? They are too. They ought to because the kids is the one that loses in these situations. The kids is the one that takes the, takes the brunt of the punch, amen. We are to think about that, glory to God. We are to think about our kids every once in a while. Glory be to God. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eye, had that eye candy in it, glory to God. Listen, drugs, alcohol, pornography, Boy, all, all, all this stuff is eye candy to the human eye, amen? Just don't show the problems and trials, you know, it don't show the wrecks and, and what it does to the families, amen? When the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also to her husband with, with and gave... He, and he did eat. In other words, she got some of it and gave it to Adam, and he got it too. But you know what? Adam should have been the man of the house there. Adam should have been the man of the house, and he should have said, No, nope, we're not going to do that. Listen, if you're following Jesus, if you're the man of your house and you're following Jesus, your wife will go along with what you say. Amen. Your wife will go along with what you do because if you're following Jesus, then she's following you follow Jesus. Amen. And she knows that you're following Jesus. So listen, you, you have to listen, you have to make sure that you're following Jesus because look at all the other ones that's following you. Amen. It comes back to them kids again. Here we go with the kids again. See, if you're following Jesus, the wife's following you, the kids are following you, their parents, which is following Jesus. But if you're not following Jesus, amen, then what are your what's your wife following? <coughs> What's your kids following today? What do they follow, amen? They follow whatever you do. If you're out in the world, they're out in the world. But if you go to church, if you love God, if you love your wife like you're supposed to, your wife will love you like she's supposed to. And listen, your kids will, your kids will love each other. Your kids will do what they're supposed to, amen? 
So we got to think about this stuff. We got to think about this before we take of the fruit of the tree in the middle of the garden. We got to make sure we know what we're doing. Amen. We got to listen for the Holy Ghost to talk to us and let us know. Let us know what we're doing wrong. Let us know whenever the devil's over here saying, well, just do this. It won't take it. Nobody will know. Amen. Nobody will know that you're doing that. And you know what? You can do something and hide it from everybody in the world. The whole world won't even know what you're doing. But the one that really counts will know. Amen. The one that really counts that, listen, listen, the one that we have to worry about, the one that can, can uh, 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 take our soul, amen, he can send us to hell just that fast, amen. The one that counts knows exactly what you're doing. The one that counts knows exactly what's going on in your life. Amen. He knows your heart. You can do what you want to on the outside. You, that's how you, that's how you uh, 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 fake everybody else off is because the outside of you, do, they see what's on the outside of you. Listen, God sees what's right deep down in your heart. He knows what's deep down in your heart. You can lie to us and say you're doing this and doing that, and then you can go home and do something else, and you can get by with it with us. But listen, you don't get by with it with God, amen? You do not get by with anything with God because he knows your heart. He knows exactly what's going on in your heart, amen? I tell you what, I love the Lord today. I'm excited today to be a Christian. I'm excited to, 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 to walk the Christian walk today, amen? Boy, I tell you what, if you're not a Christian today, it's our heart's desire right here. What the world needs is Jesus Listen, we love you today, and even better than that, God loves you. Amen. There's no other love like the love of Jesus. Amen. If you get that in your heart, listen, you'll be on your way to heaven, glory to God. If you know Jesus like I do, you won't have to worry about, you won't have to think about, well, I don't know if I'm going or not. I don't know if I'm saved or not. Amen. If you feel like that, you need to go on and ask Jesus in your heart again. You need to go on and ask Jesus, and listen, I heard Brother Larry say this on the program before. If you want, if you want to ask Jesus to show Himself to you, just go ahead and ask Him, and just hang on, cause He'll show, He'll show you, Amen. He'll show you what He can do, Amen. I tell you what, there's no other God like the God of Heaven. There's no other God like like the God of Jesus, Amen. There's no other person in this world like Jesus Christ, Amen. I love Him today. And we love you, and it's our heart's desire right here at What the World Needs is Jesus broadcast that you find Jesus somewhere, somehow, today, amen. Don't wait. Don't wait, because we're not promised tomorrow. For prayer requests, you can send us a private message at facebook.com forward slash what the world needs is Jesus. Or you can text me at 256-630-1262. You can call or text, or you can email us at what the world needs is Jesus TV at gmail.com. Lord God, we'd be so glad to hear from you, amen. And I tell you what, I've, I've been asking a time or two here, and I'm going to ask again, amen. If you would pray for us, amen. We want to pray for you, and, and we want we're going to take we want to take your prayer request, and, and, and we'll pray for them just like we do anybody else. But you know what? I'm asking you today, if you want, if you would, if you would pray for us right here at What the World Needs is Jesus. Because listen, we're human beings just like everybody else. We're, we're human beings and we live out in this world and we need prayer ourselves. Amen. So if you would, you listen, we'll pray for you and you pray for us. Glory be to God. Until our next broadcast, may God richly bless you. Amen. Why you ever chose me has always been a mystery. All my life I've been told I belong at the end of the line with all the other not quite and all the other get it right. But it turns out they're the ones you were looking for all this time. Cause I'm just a nobody trying to tell everybody all about somebody Well, he saved my soul yeah. Ever since you rescued me You gave my heart a song to sing 
I'm living for the world to see nobody but Jesus. Living for the world to see nobody but Jesus. Moses had stage fright. David brought a rock to a sword fight. You pick up 12 outsiders nobody would have chosen and you change the world. But the moral of the story is everybody's got a purpose. So when I hear that devil start talking to me, he's saying, Who do you think you are? I say, Nobody. Trying to tell everybody all about somebody. Well, he saved my soul, yeah. And ever since you rescued me, you gave my heart a song to sing. I'm living for the world to see nobody but Jesus. Living for the world to see nobody but Jesus. Let me go down, down, down in history as another but ball faithful member of a family if they all forget my name well that's fine with me i'm living for the world to see nobody but jesus let me go down 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 in history as another but fault faithful member of a family if they all forget my name, well, that's fine with me. Living for the world to see nobody but Jesus. I'm just a nobody. Trying to tell everybody all about somebody. Well, he saved my soul. Yeah. Ever since you rescued me, you gave my heart a song to sing. I'm living for the world to see nobody but Jesus. Living for the world to see nobody but Jesus. Living for the world to see nobody but Jesus.